Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you enjoy your inner peace time and practice meditation regularly. Well, <coughs> how about saying hi and introduce yourself? If you are regular, you know what to do. If you are new, don't be shy. You can get to know me and each other. So that way we can start our good community by practice meditation together. And as you may see here, we have a new screen today. Sin is not uh, it's almost out of spring, so I rather this decide to change not too much pink. Now it's just a little bit sun. Since it's Sunday, so it's good with this picture. So anyway, um, let's see who has joining us. Ah, Mr. Jack, good to see you. Oh, are you moving from uh, Texas already? Mr. Paul, good to see you. Miss Anne, all right, good to see you there. And Miss Michelle, hope you're doing fine in Hong Kong. Andy, good to see you. Now you're the first one. I'm too sad that Mr. Xi is not here since he has to take care of his daughter and she is in hospital. So hopefully she gets well soon. And don't forget to send his uh, our loving kindness. Okay. Miss Patty, good to see you. And Miss Claudia, all right. Hello, Miss Lisa. Good to see you from San Diego. Well, everyone, it seems like you are doing fine and please be safe. Right now, it's the situation is getting calm down but still not better. So be careful and please be safe, everyone. Well, before we uh, start our meditation, I have some presentation I'd like to share. But um, anyway, while we are waiting <coughs> for everyone, so uh, I hope you are <coughs> don't mind because I'm about to start our new topic today. But it's quite long, as you may see. I have to cut, change the name a little bit of why some people think that they are always right. In fact, this will be uh, quite a long topic. However, I'll make it short. It's about some psychology, but also a good story that can make us reflect on ourselves and also help us to improve. Since right now, we have to stay indoor and lock ourselves, unable to go outside. So that means we have to stay with many people in our family, maybe just one or two. But at least they will be the person who uh, we have to see from the beginning then we wake up until we go to bed at night. So therefore, it is something that may tend to create some conflict or tension. Because most of the time when we are living together, when it was in normal condition, most of us going out to work or go what we have to do outside the home. We usually stay home together when it's at night time or when we are resting. So that's we hardly having much conflict or interaction to each other. But now when we stay shut in, we have to stay more than 20, 24 hours now, right? So therefore, we normally sometimes saying something or try to force our idea in onto each other. So that's we tend to uh, kind of like raising this kind of conflict. So this is something that can help. We can either change, we cannot change them, but we can change ourselves. So this topic today are uh, maybe decide to help you on that but don't forget everything related to our mind meditation also part of that okay all right anyone else coming hmm. ah miss noon Anong. all right good to see you and mr kuma and carol good to see you well we are about to start now so let's begin with our wisdom today before we start our meditation well for those who are joining us from 21 day page if you are here, don't forget to say hi by leaving your name, your local time, and the place. I will get back to you after the session. See now, right now I'm quite busy. <laughs> My hands right now, so we're on two phone. So don't be shy. All right, I'll get back to you. And also, you can also leaving uh, your comment and questions after the meditation. I will get try to get back to everyone. All right, all right. So let's begin our wisdom. Mm, oh. It's too bad I couldn't uh, change the top uh, the background on time. Well, stay with the own one first. It's still nice, right? Well, why do some people think that they are always right, and how to deal with that? It is something that we have to uh, facing sometime. But the thing that we have to be careful is don't be that kind of person. Or if we are, we can correct ourselves because this is the art of living together, everyone. Okay. First of all, how can we know what kind of people we are dealing with? These people are, I would say, they thought to themselves alone. So they, 
there are three kind of people. I mean, three traits that we can check whether we are into this. We are this kind of people, or we are living with some of these people. Okay, the first one, the trait is they are the terrible listener. In it mean that whatever you say or talk to them, they are tend not to listen to you. Or sometimes when we are speaking to them, they try to pause or stop the conversation or in, uh, interfere with our inter in with our con with, uh, conversation and try to force and show their idea. I was one this kind of too, so sometimes when I realize myself, I have to control and stop trying to listen all the way. So that's therefore, these are the first traits. So if you are having this kind of behavior, try to interact or try to uh, interfere other people's conversation and try to force or show your opinion, this is not something that you should do because it is kind of making you try to be like uh, showing off and not listen to others. So this is not something that is a good character to be practiced. Second, they refuse to emphasize. In other words, they uh, not understand the uh, other person, but only themselves. Kind of like not never or hardly putting yourself into others' shoe. So these kind of people, rather than try to understand other, another person by listening to them, they do not listen and they will not show their rem their reaction or kind of like emphasize on each uh, on another person or therefore these are something that stopping them to understand another person and they only think about themselves so these are something if we are trained into this uh, this kind of character try to stop and realize simple thing that you can do is bring your attention back to yourself Listen to other more. When you listen to them more, you understand them more, and then you can say something to help them feel better. So in this case, you can create a very warm welcome, a very warm heart family, speaking and living together in this time of shutting down. Next trait, the last one. Oh, my bad. They are, they feel defensive. No matter what you say, they will feel like, are you trying to criticize me? Are you trying to offend me? Something like this. This is something that this threat that make people feel. Sure, we also sometimes, when someone doesn't say nice thing to us, we feel defensive too. So we kind of like uh, uh, watching out for what they're going to say. So when there's something like this, simple thing, everyone. And it can help you improve your relationship, be humble. No matter when whatever people say, be humble, ready, and understand. If their opinion uh, correct our view, it's better and it's better than our judgment. Rather than try to be stubborn using our own idea, say yes and show your exception, appreciation to what this. People will like you more and be appreciated and try to ap and they would love to be near you better than stay away from you. So these are the traits that you can check whether you are in this uh, kind of person who only think that they always right or you live in this kind of people so you can know how to counter them. The thing is how to handle them when you are living with them. Well, here, I will show you this way. There are six traits, uh, six ways that you can handle situation when you are facing such people, all right? First one is you can recognize, oh my bad, recognize and accept them, not the same as witness. Understand yourself that, you see, when people are having the belief that they are always right, they are thought that when you submit to other idea, they, th they thought that it is kind of like weakness. So something happened like this, it is not a good choice. So rather than try to go against this belief, rather than that, you should do just only recognize that it is not a weakness. It is a way to living together, interact peacefully to each other, accept their idea, listen to them. And this will help you to be strong and be more improved. Second, small, start small, avoid getting defensive. 
Well, in this part, sometime when you are starting conversation and it getting intense, rather than try to show that your opinion is always the best, rather than try to counter or interact in a grooming, start small is mean rather than try to be offensive. Be ready to just say, listen to them. Listen and then when it gets intense, avoid defensive. In other words, you don't have to fight them and try to show that your opinion is always right. Rather than just listen, if you have not ready accepted, just avoid conflict and getting away or just say or put in silence. But silent, it doesn't mean that you are struggle or doesn't mean that you are trying to get it back. It means that you are avoid and it means that you overcome your own emotion. All right, that's a good part. Uh, that's a good choice to do. Third, accept that you will never be able to change everyone's opinion in the way that they do not agree with you. If they don't agree with you, it doesn't mean that they are wrong. Maybe we are wrong, but it's just that we don't have the same opinion. So the only way that we can make our opinion to, to living together in peace, just also act remember that no one thinks the same. So therefore, just accept and listen. This way can help us be more united and more, more unity and more at peace together. Understand them can help you living together with them more in peace. So that's accept that no one think the same. If you understand this part, you will be able and ready to listen and move on to the next one. Priori prioritize kindness and compassion over the feeling right. Sometimes we are too much focused on we are right. We forgot about compassion. Sometimes people, do they do not listen. They have their or emotion or control over their uh, logic. So when this thing happens, use compassion and kindness. This way will help you get along with each other and live together longer than in short time and never say it to each other again. So kindness and compassion. One thing that I learned from my family, my father, he's always quiet. Also my uncle too. Both my mom and my aunt, they always always the time. Sometimes my uncle, if he just don't want to listen, he just lift. My father, he is a good listener. He loves psychology. So whenever he, my mom just complain and, you know, talk, you know, nonsense, he just listen. Don't say anything. When my mom get angry, he just listen. Don't say anything. And that's, that is something. It's showing that rather than try to make it worse, you Gain yourself compassion and kindness. Be listener. Because sometimes people, when they are stressed, they say things that is not kind words. So therefore, they normally use, it, use their emotion rather than their reason. So when this happens, when you are in this kind of situation, show your kindness by just be a patient listener. Fifth, to handle this, look for an opportunity, opportunity to change your opinion. It means that sometimes people or others' opinion, they are right, and my and our is wrong. So rather than try to correct them, we change our opinion by listening to them. Be a good listener. Open your mind. When you open your mind, you'll find many ways that you will see more broaden more wider opinion and you can learn more and use yourself to think and consider whether this is wrong or not. This can help you to change away, change your opinion, change yourself and improve to be a better listener because no one writes all the time. Last but not least, number six, acknowledge that changing your opinion or allow someone else to prove that you are wrong doesn't make that you any less you. In other words, sometimes it's better to listen because those who are listen, they may get more information. When they get more information, they have opportunity and ability to grow 
when they become grow and improve, that means their opinion are be more wider and better. So be a listener. This can help you improve and let get along each other. So this is the sixth way that you can continue to live, help you allow to live with people when you are having faced some like this. Okay, but all in all, this will not be possible without the chain of training your own mind. In other words, practice of meditation can help you improve your reasoning, improve your ability and patience to listen to another person. So these are something that can help you to be uh, overcome and counter when you are facing such people like this. And best of all, don't be into this kind of person that who thinks that they are always right because it is not a good character and not going to be able to socialize with many people for a long time. So that's therefore, try not to be them and when you live with them, you can know how to handle this, all right? So good luck everyone. It seems like everyone is about to start getting ready for our meditation. So if you have questions after the meditation, feel free leave the comment after our session. And then we are about to start our meditation now. Before we are start, allow me just a few minutes of our time to introduce how we practice meditation in our Inner Peace Sunday program. For those who are new, you are ready to listen. For those who are regular, you know what to do. Well, you can check yourself three things, whether you are ready or not. One, if you need to call someone, do it now. Or if you don't, put it in, put your phone in silent mode and get yourself ready. Second, do you need to use toilet? If you do, now is a chance. If you don't, get yourself ready. Last but not least, check whether your room is suitable for meditation. Because when you are meditate, you want it to be at least clean, peaceful and quiet. So this way you can start meditation in peace and get yourself ready. Now, for our inner peace meditation, how do we practice? What we practice is called the middle way meditation and we emphasize on two things. First, relaxation and second is mindfulness. These are the things that we should always be maintain is balance. How do you maintain? Well, you're watching yourself observe whether you are relaxed or not. If you are not, you adjust. If you are trying too much, this need to be less by relax, more relax. If you are putting too much more relax, you will see that you are might fall asleep and your focus may be lost. So be careful. You have to maintain this in this line. You can see in the circle, not to let these two overlap each other. Otherwise, if you're having too much relaxation, you might uh, you might fall asleep. If you're having too much mindfulness you may be uncomfortable. So always maintain this balance. And as my master always said, no matter the method we use to meditate, whichever way we practice, the principle is being comfortable and relaxed must go together. So this is the key, everyone, to help you improve and go further. But if you feel uncomfortable, what to do? Just adjust your body. If you feel too much, just reset by restart over. You know, meditation doesn't mean that you have to sit like in the meditation posture or like a Buddha statue, sitting still. You can move, you can adjust because you want to be relaxed. If you can relax, you can focus. That's the thing, okay? And how to focus when you are relaxed and mindfulness is all balanced. Here, how you help you focus, not to lose yourself. One, you can practice by visualization. Visualize something simple, something that doesn't make you think or create emotion. Second, when you have a lot of thoughts, this can help you to calm down your mind by using mantra. The mantra I use in my temple that I learned from my master is Samma Arahang. Or if you feel it's too difficult, you can use your own mantra. The recommendation for two is uh, two words. This can help you. That's right. 
about right, but it's too long, well, you can try your own mantra, but make sure it's not make you feel uncomfortable, all right? Then, every time you meditate, how can you check whether you do it correctly? This is what my master giving tip. Receiving happiness every time we meditate, even just for a little moment, this is the confirmation that we are practiced correctly. So that's therefore, when you meditate, but you feel that you are just still as still, it's just about 90% correct, but the other 10%, you are still a little bit in there deep inside your mind. You're still forcing yourself to be still. When you are relaxed, you don't need to force yourself at all. So make sure you get that part from the beginning and maintain it until the end. So are you ready, everyone? Because we are now to start. You can leave the comment. Oh, someone asked, what does Samarahang mean? It means the path to purity and freedom from negative thing. So that's the meaning of it. It's an own Indian language. You can use the mantra that you like too. So all right, hopefully it's helped you, Miss Melissa. All right, everyone, if we now ready, then let's begin our inner peace time. <coughs> let's begin inner peace time, everyone. Close your eyes. Relax your mind and body. Adjusting yourself, sitting in a relaxed and comfortable position. where you won't feel any tension on your body. Relax very truly, beginning from the top of your head. Relax down to your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Loose your eyelids. Don't use your eyes or try to look inside yourself during the meditation. Relax every muscles in your face. Down to your neck and shoulder. Adjusting your back and body properly. Free from all the tension you might have. Relax both of your arms down to the tips of your hands. Continue further down to your legs, your knees, and all the way 
to your feet completely, making your whole body feeling most comfortable during the meditation. Spend a few moments adjusting yourself when you are done, let's move on to adjust your mind. Begin by taking a deep breath. Slowly breathing it out. Relax, truly. Clear your thoughts, empty your mind while you breathe out. Fill your mind with joy and happiness while you breathe in. And imagine that yourself is alone in this place, a place that you like to be by yourself without anyone to disturb or bother you. a place of your own, like in the garden, under the tree, where you can hear the river, make you feel calm, relaxed. Feeling like your whole body is empty, nothing inside, no flesh, no bones, no organs, really light, like you could float or fly in the air, then allow your mind, your awareness to come back to your body slowly and gently, like a feather floating down, slowly moving down into your body and gently rest inside yourself. Begin to observe your own mind from there. Use your feeling. Making yourself be a good observer, not a director. Observe your own mind. Observe your feeling, your comfortable feeling. Maintain to the rest of your meditation. 
should the thought arise. Don't worry. Let it go and let it end without following your thoughts. Now you may repeat the mantra in your mind at your own pace. And the mantra is Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Continue the mantra Maintain your comfortable feeling while observe the sun inside yourself. So let us continue finding ourselves in a peace for a little while until the appropriate time.
Once your body and mind are balanced with one another, let the enjoyment and peacefulness fill your mind. You can open your mind to all beings and learn to love more openly, freely, beginning with loving kindness for yourself <coughs> and then loving kindness for others. You become more open, relaxed, and balanced. Radiating this loving kindness from the center out to everyone in the room, <coughs> to your families and friends, to all the people in the home building, in the home city, in the home country, and the home world. Sharing loving kindness with them all, a feeling for them to be happier. The mind full of loving kindness will discover the way to work with others meaningfully, gently, happily, resolving whatever problems may arise. Let there be peace on earth. Let there be world peace, true inner peace, Spend a few moments, spread your loving kindness.
take a deep breath. Slowly breathing it out. Relax very truly, both body and mind. Stay still inside your body. Continue to relax after the meditation. Maintain this feeling within yourself as long as you can and then slowly gently open your eyes Welcome back, everyone. How are you feeling? I hope you enjoy your inner peace session with me today. Well, before we are parting, please allow me to check your meditation experience. For those who are regular, you know what to do. Go ahead and leave your comment. For those who are new, don't be shy, so that way I can help you. For those who are new, leave the comment as follow. If you are feeling relaxed, leave the comment as one. For those who feeling like your body disappear, leave the comment as two. For those who experience inner peace and the brightness shine in yourself, leave the comment as three. Anything else, explain. If I can get back to you on time, I will get back to you, answer on the video, on our live. If somehow you're watching later, go ahead, leave the comment. I will write back to you later on. So let's see. <coughs> from Hello, Mr. John. Good to see you from Texas. All right. Andy, one. Mm. Mr. Daniel 2, Miss Anne 1, Mr. Jack feeling, li feeling light, that's good. Hopefully, you could fly too, right? <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing. Mr. Kuma, relaxed, oh that's one. Busy mind, negative one. Well, Miss Lyria, don't worry. When is mean busy, it means your mind still work. It's just that you need to get your mind to have a good rest. So stay still further, a little bit further, because the mind needs some time to cool down too. So stay with it. Don't give it up. If it's too much, open your eyes. When you feel calm down, close your eyes and continue, okay? Mr. Paul, two. Miss Patty, three. In a warm light, that's good. Hope it's not too warm, all right? <laughs> Miss Carol, three. You love it, that's good. Mimi, three, all right? I fell inside a blue light, Miss for Miss Cordier, getting lighter and lighter. Is that it? Yes, Miss Cordier, you have done correctly. But when no matter how you feel, remain calm. Don't get over excited. When you get excited, ooh, ooh, it's coming, it's coming. That's it. It's gone. You start over. Okay? So when you feel like that, just observe. It will feel more than that. All right? All right, anyone else? Okay, Dev, love the and light, that's good. All right, Mr. J, two. Catherine Steven, two. All right, how about from 21 day? Let me greeting those who come earlier. Miss Maria, thank you very much for joining us from New York. Miss Julie from Canada. Avion, uh, Avon from Texas. Brenda, Sylvia, all right, Bella and Sarah, all right, from New York as well. Miss De Mr. Dell from Ohio. Okay, Deborah, beautiful, thank you, all right. 
Nurit, two, that's good. All right, Suda, one. Feel like my body was floating. That's done correctly because you have relaxed well. Maria, what happened? You got four. Can you explain? Stephen, feeling with energy expanding. All right, that's good. That means that your body and mind begin to relax. Light, expand. Light, expand. All right? Remember that. That's a good approach. All right. Stuck in Portland, man. Okay, for Mr. Stephen, could you please speak about share something regarding fear, especially when you recognize that you are experiencing it? Can you explain a little bit what is fear for Ms. Suda? I'm not sure what you mean by fear. Fear of your meditation experience or fear of something else on your mind? Well, all right. Be more specific, please. Thank you. All right, Miss Lisa, one. Miss Claudia, you love it? All right, we will play in meditation again. Well, here, <coughs> you can do that too. Also, you can check on our YouTube channel, Great Teaching Monk, for our record of video and many of the pl on the playlist. You can also find your own, uh, uh, find our 30 minute meditation. You can use that in there. You don't have to start off from our replay. It's your choice, all right? Anyway, anyone else? Okay, I arrived late from Algeria, from Miss Sarah, all right. Hopefully, it's not too early for you, Miss Sarah. Okay. Miss uh, Victoria, all right. From Virginia, all right. Barbara, totally feel relaxed, buddy. That's good. Thank you very much for joining. Today was the currency. Oh, okay. So that's the fear that you're talking about. That's a thought, the worry. Okay. In the fear, well, I don't want to exp uh, get into uh, too much advertise. You can see on my scroll here. Good question, good answer. We also have that kind of questions in our video, how to overcome your fear. So, check that out too, okay, Miss Suda? In our inner piece, uh, in our Facebook or in our YouTube channel, you can check on there on good questions, good answer live. We have the record of video over there, or even better on our YouTube, uh, podcast channel, Great Teaching Monk. You can find that in Apple or Spotify anywhere. We also post in there too. So well, what about the fear? This is uh, common for everyone at this time, whether about economics, work, jobs, money, everything. This uh, really is going to change our life from now until a very long run. So what's going to happen in this case? Rather than just be worried in your own thoughts, it's not help. My master, especially our master nun, she's a woman, who is very excel in meditation, and I ordained because of her. She inspired my goal, and I like to be like her, that's why I ordained and study under her temple. What she taught is that no matter what situation that's come into your life, whether they are good, bad, or neither, do not think ahead. Do not worry about it, because our mind just like the secret always said, what you think, what it will come. So if our thought attract positive or negative, it depends on what we are thinking. The more we repeat it thinking, it will attract that kind of situation into our life. This is what our master also mentioned. So whenever something bad happens, do not think ahead. Rather than that, try to remain calm. Because thinking ahead won't help. Why? Because it's not happened yet. And whether it's going to happen like what we think or not, we don't know. The future is always uncertain. But what we do in the present will make it happen. So do not think ahead. When these things come, try to remain calm. Move your attention to some, towards something else. Do something that makes you be more relaxed and calm. Whether it's going to be meditation, reading books, listening to music, watching movie. Best is exercise. Why does ex exercise make you feel relaxed? Because when the body begins to move, it's making the mind follow. So when the body be more relaxed, moving, when you feel very, very exhausted from exercise, you sitting down and rest, the body and mind begin to rest too. So that's making you feel more forgetting about what's happened in the future. And if in case you happen to have the case that you worry about the past, 
when this happens, the thing that you should be consider is it's already happened. You cannot fix, you cannot change. Rather than regret, try to not making the same mistake again and move on. This is something that uh, I think could help in some of us who are watching this video and our live. So everyone, I hope you enjoy your inner peace time. Anyone else? Okay. Ah, my head has also moved up and back. Feel like feel I fight this any point, just go with it. Well, if you feel struggle, it's not good to struggle in your meditation. If you are not ready, if you are not really want to meditate, rather than forcing yourself, it's going to be a bad habit when you meditate, when you feel struggle. In this case, start over. Open your eyes, go do something else, like uh, let's say watching your face, reading books, take a shower until you feel more calm, relaxed, come back and meditate. This will feel more at ease. This can help you have better experience in meditation, all right? Okay, everyone, if you feel you are <coughs> needing some help or need some questions answer, you can leave, send us the message. We will make a video if it really help, or if it's just not much, maybe I can answer in there. So hopefully this can help you on the med in your meditation experience. Okay, so, well, if it is now everyone has finished and sharing your meditation, then I will, con I will let, I'll just let it, uh, call it end today. And I hope to see you again in our next Inner Peace Sunday. Well, for the future, if you like to continue practice regularly, I am editing a video right now, so it should be study, uh, finished by the end of this month. We're going to have a meditation every day on video, so you can come meditate together at the same time, on, uh, together with the video. But on Wednesday night, in US uh, Central Time, there will be Inner Peace Wednesday, where you can join me on Zoom to, t to talk with me regularly, or uh, speaking rather than typing. But if you feel shy, you don't have to show your face on the camera, you can just leave the voice uh, also possible. But also leave option open available for those who just want to enjoy watching on Facebook. Anyway, soon that's going to be changed because now a lot of people are using that uh, Zoom or uh, Ecamm Live or live streaming that can help people get in touch to each other better more because this is how the world is going to change interacting between each other now. So well, we can also moving our update our program too. So hopefully to see you again and please continue to supporting me by coming, joining me, meditating with me on this Wednesday and Sunday too. So well, hope to see you again next time everyone. Have a good day and good night.